I think we'll take that any day of the week. And uh, you know what? But what we're going to do is we're going to take it and move on. Loved getting the win today. It's a great job by the whole team. Everyone pitched in and did a great job. Blue Jays win 5-1 over the Cleveland Indians. And that, that is what we have been waiting for this whole series. But of course, it comes down to Game 4. You're going to be eliminated otherwise. But they get the win nonetheless. Let's break it down a little bit. Bottom of the third, Josh Donaldson's up. Nobody on base. He's going to hit a home run on a 2-2 count to left center. 1-0 Blue Jays. All right. But that one nothing that can evaporate like that. We've seen it all. We've seen it all series. It's been a back and forth thing, but they just came out on top uh, most of the time. Well, all the time, really. Um, bottom of the fourth, one inning later, Ezekiel Carrera drops in a bloop single, scoring Troy Tulowitzki from second base, who had a great, great read on the ball. Two nothing Jays. Uh, next inning, Roberto Perez doubles to center, scoring Coco Crisp, making it a two one game. This is when the wheels start to turn. This when you're like, oh, oh no. Uh, oh, two to uh, Oh, it's a one-run game. Jays are not good in run, run, one-run games. Eey. But that changes in the bottom of the seventh when Edwin comes up with the bases loaded and hits a single. Uh, two center scoring Ryan Goins and Bautista, making it a four-to-one game. And I think that's where the that's when things started to change. Top, bottom of the eighth, Ezekiel Carrera hits a triple to the gap. I mean, not a great read by Brendan Geyer, though. I think he was going to try and lay out for it, realize he couldn't do it, and then start running back. And right when you're doing that, uh, uh, you made a mistake, kid. Goes all the way to the wall. Zeke gets to third base. Kevin Pillar ends up hitting a sack fly. Great catch by Brendan Geyer, nonetheless. Sack fly, run scores, 5-1. Great job by the bats today. Coming up with uh, clutch hits, not just home runs. Clutch hits, base hits, sacrifice flies, small ball. Finally, we've they've been doing it. Now let's talk about uh, you know let's talk about the pitching because this is really what it was today. Aaron Sanchez goes six innings, giving up two hits, one run, two walks, and five strikeouts. Looked very very good today. Pretty much in command all game except for the uh, hit to Carlos. Uh, why do I see, keep thinking Carlos Perez? Roberto Perez. Um, he looked really good, though, all game long. Goes six solid. Brett Cecil comes out in the seventh, gets two strikeouts, clean inning. Grilly comes out in the eighth, one inning, clean. And Roberto Osuna does what he does best. Goes an inning, gets two strikeouts, clean inning, done, ball game. Just a great game overall. This is what Cleveland has been getting, though. They've been getting the really good bullpen, the really good starting pitching, and some clutch hits here and there from different players. Now the Jays got one. Can they ride the momentum into tomorrow and... So on and so forth. We don't really know what can happen. So it's going to be a, a very interesting afternoon tomorrow because Jays win, they go back to Cleveland, but you know it's a 3-2 series, right? The Jays can find a way to win one in Cleveland. Game seven, anything can happen. But you got to take it one game at a time though, right? So tomorrow, 4 o'clock start, Aaron Sanchez versus Ryan Merritt, who has... Uh, if I'm, not, I'm pretty sure has not started a playoff game uh, this playoffs. I wouldn't think so. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting to see see what he does. He hasn't actually pitched since September 30th uh, at Kansas City, so maybe a little rust. But the Jays have never really seen this guy. Could be a mix of everything. Marco Estrada is going for the Blue Jays, so. It's going to be a very, very good game again tomorrow. You expect that with these two teams. You're going to get good games every single game. And uh, it was a nail-biter today until the seventh inning, though. It was a very – Cleveland did – they fought. They fought to the bitter end. Um, but Edwin finally we got a clutch base hit, and he put them away, really. And that's really all she wrote at that point. Well, we didn't get swept – anybody getting any pictures of the 04 Red Sox? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. It's, it's one game. It's one win. You got to win three more. You can't lose another one. But you got to win three more. You got to think of tomorrow. Nonetheless, I think it's a winnable game. We don't really know much about Merritt. Marco Estrada was very, very good in game one. So it's going to be a very interesting thing to see. What can Marco Estrada do? Can he be lights out? Will the, will the Jays get to Ryan Merritt? Maybe some jitters in him. Who knows? I'm very interested to, to see what, what ends up happening because it's going to be a doozy, that's for sure. And uh, this could be the last 
home game of the season for the Jays this year. So I know they don't want it. I know we don't want it. So let's win. Go to Cleveland. Take two. Uh, I'm trying to think too hopeful. It's going to be tough. Cleveland's a very good team. That's why they're in the ALCS up 3-1 over the Blue Jays. That's why they took a 3-0 lead because they're a darn good team. They come up the big clutch hits. They could not find those clutch hits today. That's what the Jays have been like the first three games. So it's going to be very interesting to see who gets that clutch hitting tomorrow. I mean, it, could it be the Jays? Could they start the momentum now after a very good game uh, and look good against Kluber and, and some of the bullpen? Can they repeat tomorrow? Can they take that momentum into tomorrow? We're going to have to wait and see. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited to watch this game. I, I was excited to watch this because there was this there's this, there's this part of me that thinks the Jays that can can do it because of obviously what happened last year with Texas and and the Jays can't just end their season like this, right? I mean I don't know I I, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be very interesting to see though what happens tomorrow afternoon. Who will get the first lead? Because that seemed to be the key so far. Whoever gets the first lead ends up winning the ball games. You know. Cleveland, the Jays never hold, held the lead until today. They, therefore, they lost the first three games, and they got the lead today, and they ended up winning. So it's going to be, I, I, whoever scores first it may end up winning the ball game. So will the Jays be able to get to Merritt early? Or will Marco Estrada, you know, not have his changeup working? Or will both pitchers be bad and there'll be a slugfest? Or... Will nobody be able to hit anything and go? It's going to be a crazy night. I don't know. It's going to be. That's why we watch this game because you don't know what you're going to get from one day to the next. So it's going to be very interesting to watch, and that's why we do it. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hey, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the ball game today, hit that like button, um, hit that subscribe button, guys. If you if you uh, if you like the videos and and uh, you know you like you're liking what you're seeing from the Jays from the Leafs. From all these guys, because, uh, come on, the Leaf game is uh, tomorrow as well. So there's going to be two videos tomorrow. That's right. We're going to get two out in one day. It's going to be a very interesting one, that's for sure. we got two games to talk about. Leafs, Jays. Hopefully, um, you know, while the Leaf game going is going on, or hopefully before, uh, the, Le the, the Jays game will be uploaded, hopefully. Nonetheless... That's going to do it, guys. Comment down below also what you guys thought of the ball game today. It was fun to watch. And we'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow tomorrow evening. Post game. Game 5. ALCS. At Rogers Center. We'll see you guys then.